Steve So I kind of like this angle. I'm going to keep using it. And I know it's the first Monday and I already had to invoke the Monday rule, but I really have a lot of classwork. I'm actually taking 19 credit hours this semester and I just did the math and I'm spending almost 25 hours a week in class plus a desired 21 hours of practicing a week. So I am actually quite busy. And of course with the year coming to a close, I have a lot, a lot of work to do for every single class. So please forgive me if I'm late. I'm really, really trying to relax as well. Um, and this is is actually part of my fun relaxing time so good for you guys right anyway so with so much time spending in class I actually spend a lot of time in class really bored and for those of you who know me or have had classes with me you realize that when I get bored I just start to do things to fill my boredom and in several classes that involves drawing and it brings me back to the days in high school when I was taking music theory and I w I've always been quite good at music theory so a lot of fun drawings come out of it because they seem off the wall but really it's just like I have a train of thought that moves so fast and I don't really care about making stuff actually look good and artistic so I just get some fun pictures take for instance my favorite classic this, my friends, is a Pokemon I drew in my senior year of high school, um, and it actually has a mantra that goes with it. It's half spider, half ant, half chicken, half spatula, half dragon, half turtle, half duck, half fish, and 400% awesome! So I was wondering if you guys had ever invented your own Pokemon or something like that. I know I was kind of a nerd as an elementary schooler, but still, like, I figure everybody has to have at least tried. Of course, I'm not encouraging the people to actually keep creating new Pokemon because I think there are like 500 now, and the original 150 were already stretching it in some instances. I mean, there are really only so many animals and plants to choose from on which to base your Pokemon. So I did watch The Drowsy Chaperone, and it was actually entertaining. Um, it wasn't, like, the best show that I've ever seen, but it was a cute show. It, ha it had several laughs in it, and uh, it was just an all-around good time. Definitely a good way to spend $20, maybe not much more than that. And maybe next week I'll be playing some of my own musical for you. I really don't have that much written. Um, maybe more in the summer. I can't wait until summer! It's gonna be so good. I'm actually gonna be staying here at school in an apartment and working. Um, and buying my own food and stuff, and basically being independent, which would be a nice change. Not that I don't like being at home, it's just that my parents have done a good job of making me feel more adult and independent, and so it's kind of weird going back home and having my parents make stuff for me and do my laundry and stuff. Because I've been doing a lot of that myself for the last two years, and I kind of just feel like keeping that up. It's not that I don't miss being with my family, but we have a very different relationship now, because I am pretty much self-sufficient except for the fact that they're paying for my college. For which I am eternally grateful. I am also turning 20 in one week, which is quite apt because I'm having kind of a mid-midlife crisis, which is good because I'm pretty much at exactly mid-midlife. I really just don't know what I want to do with the rest of my life because I know I enjoy studying music and all that, but like there's... people don't realize how many choices there are in this field. And thanks to the Nerd Fighters, my last video that I actually just posted yesterday was featured on the Ning, which is awesome. So, you know, thank you. DFTBA.